welcome to Teacher IR's channel. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe to my channel, and hit the bell button. Thank you! God bless! Mwah! Good day! This is Teacher I, and in today's video, I am going to share with you about perimeter and area of square, rectangle, and triangle. Let's go! Perimeter and area. When we say perimeter, it is the distance around the closed figure or it is the distance around a polygon. But in this video i am going to have only or to discuss only perimeter of square rectangle and triangle so how to compute for the perimeter simply add the measure of all the sides or here are the formula for rectangle we have there p equals to 2 times length plus width and for square, we have their P equals to 4 times S or side. And for triangle, we have their P equals to A plus B plus C. Let us try this problem. The children jog around the school playground. The playground measures 20 meters long and 15 meters wide. How many meters will it take for them to jog around the playground? So let's have this. This called playground resembles the shape of the rectangle. So we have there the rectangle. And the playground measures 20 meters long and 15 meters wide. So here's the rectangle. Let's put the uh, measurement. So we have 20 meters um long and 15 meters wide how to compute for it let's try to compute okay so how many meters will it take for them to jog around the uh, playground is the um or is what being asked there so you're going to um show it this way so 15 meters wide and 20 meters long so you are going to have the Perimeter equals to, or P equals to 2 times length times width. And equals, so the length there is 20 and the width is 15. So how to compute it? So we're going to compute them. P equals to 2 times 20M plus 15M. Let's multiply 2 by 20 and 2 by uh, 15. So 2 times 20 is 40. 2 times 15 is 30. But other kids that find it easier for them to add first the 20 plus 15 equals 35 and 2 and multiply it by 2. So it's still the same will give us the same answer as 70. Answer is 70 meters to jog around the playground. Let's have some drill. So get the perimeter of each figure. So we have there, yes, that's a triangle. And there's the measurement of that triangle. Next is there. So we have to get the first the formula. So here's the formula. P equals to A plus B plus C. So just add um, 10 plus 10 plus 8 there. It will give us 28. So that's how you're going to um, solve for the perimeter of the triangle. Just add all the sides. So A plus B plus C. Next is get the perimeter of its figure. We have the rest. That's a square. And we have there the measurement of each side is 5 meters. So we have the formula as P equals to 4 times S. So, P equals to 4 times 5 meters. And it will give us 20 meters. Let's try to answer this one. We have there 
square, which is the side is 3M. We have the rectangle, which is the width is 10 and the length is 15. And we have the triangle with the measurements of 5, 8, and 6. So let's try to answer. So always remember to um, memorize the formula. So here, so what's the formula for this? So it's P equals to 4 times S. So let's get, so the S there, the side is 3. So it's 4 times 3 equals 12. That's 4 square. And let's have another one. So for the rectangle, we have the length of 15 and width of 10. And so the formula is P equals to 2 times length plus width. Okay, so 2 times 15M plus 10M. And so again, you could multiply first. Multiply the 2 times 15 will give us 30. And 2 times 10 will give us uh, 20. And but it would be easier for other kids like add first. So 15 plus uh, 10 is 25. Then that's the time to, for you to multiply to 2. So still the same answer of 50 meters next for the triangle we have there 5 plus 6 plus 8 so just add all the sides of this so 5 plus 6 plus 8 so it's 19 always remember to write the um the unit okay so let's have area okay so when we say area it is the number of square units that will fit inside the polygon or it is the number of square units inside a closed figure so there's this okay so what are the formula so here's the formula for the rectangle we have area equals to length times width for the square we have um s times s or side times side or we could also s squared so this is the s squared so that's the formula but for uh, the beginners it would be easy to do this one okay so for triangle we have there one half plus b times h or base times height so let's try this one S suppose that each figure below is made up of 1 cm square find the perimeter so it would be it's easy just when it is represented by this type of square because you will just count them to get the perimeter so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and so as this one so 1 2 3 4 5 6 there so you just so there it's how are you going to do? So you just count it. All the square. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So that's 6. Okay. So let's have another drill for the area. So find the area. A rectangle whose length and width are 8 cm and 5 cm respectively. So how to do it? Okay. And the square whose side is 3 cm. And also... Um, area of and also area of triangle pen and whose base measure 5 cm and whose height is uh, 8 cm so let's have this let's try to answer them so a rectangle whose length and width are 5 are 8 cm and 5 cm respectively so the formula is area equals to length times width so you have there the length as uh, 8 and the width as 5 so 8 times 5 equals 40 centimeter next one is a square whose side is 3 centimeter so you have there the square so you have the the formula is s times is s so just side is 3 so you have there 3 cm and 3 cm so 3 times 3 is 9 cm so there for the triangle okay so there's the 
the formula. So, 1 half times base times height. And we have there the base is 5 and the height is 8. So, 5 times 8. So, equal. So, we have to do this one first. So, 5 times 8 is 40. Then, multiply it to uh, 1 half. It could... Um, so, it's 1 times 4. 1 times 40 is 40 divided by 2. It's 20. So, let's have this one. The figures are uh, either rectangle or square. Find the perimeter of each figure. So, we have there the figure is of this rectangle is 8 cm by 5 cm and we have there 21. And then, so how to do it? There. You, um, the formula is 2 times length times width. So, we have there the length of 8, the width of 5. So, we have there's um, 2 times 8 is 16. And 2 times 5 is 10. Or simply add 8 first and 5. 8 plus 5 is 13 times 2 will give us still 26. So let's have this one. The square. There it is. The measurement is 21. So the formula here is um, yeah, B equals to 4 times 21 or times s so for 21 4 times 21 equals to 84 there and then let's have this one the figures are either rectangle or square find the find the area of each figure so looking for the area so we have this the problem okay how to do it so we have we just multiply length times with so length times with so 45 times 20 so 45 times 20 is 900 millimeter and when we have this one so this is s times s so or s squared so side by side so 13 and side 13 13 13 so we have 13 times 13 equals 169 so again don't be confused. It's necessary for you to remember the formula for um, each shape. So we have there the rectangle. The, uh, the formula for perimeter is this one. And the formula for area is this one. For the square, this is the formula for perimeter. And this is the formula for area. And for the triangle, this is the formula. And for the area, this is the formula. Okay, so make sure to remember those formula so you will be guided. I do hope you learned from this lesson of mine about perimeter and area of square, um, rectangle, and triangle. So please don't forget to subscribe my uh, channel. My channel is Teacher IR and um thank you so much for watching my video and um god bless everyone and don't forget to pray and be thankful always for all the blessings that we have in our life bye bye and